Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So I'm just reviewing back a session I did coming out of the winter. It's a bit of footage I've had for a while, but um, as you can see here um, on this club water, I've managed to find a few of the uh, tricky inhabitants. Uh, it is a tricky water. Some people go a lot of nights without catching. So I'm basically going to run through my, um, my key bottom bait rig now. I tend to use this on, on waters where I'm going to be fishing these snags or if I'm fishing at, in Belgium or France for much bigger fish. Now I'm using the 25 pound ultra skin from Gardner. It does come in the 15 pound uh, version as well and you can get it in the weedy green, the silt black or as you can see here the brown version. Now there are a lot of different um, good braids on the market. I tend to favour this one because it's easy to work with and again it's just very very robust. So what I'm going to do first of all is just strip back the, uh, as you can see here, I've stripped around six inches or so, um, revealing the uh, uncoated inner core. Now the hook I favour are the sharpened size four muggers. These are sharpened uh, by uh, Jason Hayward for Gardner, and they're just really, really solid hooks and they're hard to get out. If you're using barb, they go in and it's, they don't come out. And most of the time, the fish are nailed on the bottom of the uh, lip in the centre, but not always, but most of the time. And I'm planning to do a bit more video footage when I capture some fish to show exactly where the hook holds uh, are happening. And uh, again, I'm just really, I really love this rig just because of its reliability. It's absolutely bomb proof. So what we're doing here, I'm tying a small overhand loop um, and this will be for the bait to go on to and uh, the bait will be secured in place with a uh, yeah, baiting stop. So make it fairly small and then trim off the excess tag and then blob it. Okay, so the next stage is to tie a very small overhand granny knot in the uh, uncoated braid. What's going to happen next is we're going to take the size 4 mugger and put it through that very small uh, hole or loop. Once you've fi found your desired location on the back of the uh, shank, I tend to favour anywhere from the very top to in line with the barb, as you can see here. And then what we're going to do is tie a second knot just to lock it into place. Just making sure everything's still aligned and absolutely spot on. Give it a last pull just to tighten and bed everything down. Just going to use a baiting needle just to help me, uh, like I say, really bed down the knot. quick look at this now again when we're doing the knotless knot we always go through the back of the eye I know an obvious one but worth telling people because they may be new to this as well and if you're new to the channel of course welcome there's loads of videos on our channel from a variety of sessions with plenty of fish uh, certainly around the 40 pound mark and uh, amongst others so uh, yeah have a look at some of the other videos uh, if you've got some time to kill and obviously if you subscribe that's absolutely fantastic and much appreciated so let's get on with it then so in through the back of the eye now when the hooks formed um, on the eye they have a little join point you want to do the opposite side to that so it doesn't get uh, cut or damaged during the fight and typically um, i will go up around 12 times um, typically i'm doing that because i've taken off a little bit more of the out of braid than I probably needed and so I'm just going to go round a few more times uh, just to make sure there's a very small gap of uncoated braid and again that's obviously just to give a little bit of free movement uh, that can help hook the carp. So again we bedded down the hook length there and um, yeah nice and straightforward. The next task to do really is to uh, to make sure that uh, everything's aligned you're happy with everything and then from there we'll uh, fire up the kettle 
and add some of that um, um, shrink tube. Um, typically, I'll take around three to four centimeters worth um, of the shrink tube. I uh, like a fairly big kicker, but I don't crazy go crazy aggressive with the curve. Then on the other end, I've got a um, perfection loop knot and a couple of bits of putty. Always put the larger bit of putty nearer the lead end uh, so it helps kick it out more easily. And there you go. A nice simple rig, a rig that you could take anywhere and use with confidence. You've got a very strong hook there that's got great heritage in terms of its hook hold capability and just my experience one of the best hooking uh, rigs i've ever uh, hooks i've ever used again with the hook length material very robust very very strong and uh, again very difficult to see on the lake bottom but hopefully this uh, hopefully this rig has helped you and another one to add to your armory i will try and bring out um you know one of these a month and again, I'll show exactly what kind of fish I'm catching with it. So let's get straight on now. Um, and again, a close up here onto the, uh, the fish I had. Now this one's, I believe, 27, 28 pounds. And uh, yeah, absolutely went bonkers under the snags at my feet. So again, very happy that I had the strong line on and the strong hook. So yeah, stunning fish, simple rig. If you keep to the, the simple components of the uh, the 25 pound ultra skin, the size 4 mugger, um, and again, you'll be uh, catching some great fish on a reliable rig. Cheers.